This is the Secure and Entrepreneur Show for top performing business professionals with massive wealth aspirations. And I'm your host, Aurora Day. Welcome and thank you for joining me here on the 42nd episode of the Secured Entrepreneur Show. I want to thank everyone who is emailing us here at Aurora Day Consulting. You all know that we read all of your emails and today I'm going to address this question that many of you have been asking since November of last year. Right now, there are a lot of individuals who are leaning towards entrepreneurship, investing in hot stocks, buying into popular franchises, joining multi-level marketing companies, and just trying to figure out how to actually follow a successful financial trend. Well, Ms. Aurora is here to tell you that there is one industry that covers a plethora of income streams that has and will more than likely continue to contribute to generational wealth building. So today, we're going to be talking about the number one industry for entrepreneurs in 2020 and beyond. I'm Aurora Day. Protecting your business starts before you open for business. Now, this may surprise many of you. The industry that is increasing to over $1,614 billion by 2026 is the travel industry. To be more specific, it's the luxury travel industry. Based on a report published by Allied Market Research, the rise in disposable income of middle and upper middle groups of people and the increase in impact of social media on the travel and tourism industry are the key factors driving the revenue growth of the market. And get this, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the U.S. now has more than 1.4 million job openings, with 5.5% of these positions being in the hotel and restaurant industries. This is happening because of the search for exclusivity and high comfort amongst these luxury travelers. The research shows that luxury travelers take at least three to four luxury trips per year. So the question is, how can you hitch your wagon to this star? As I was researching the numbers on tourism, what stood out the most to me is that adventure and safari luxury travel accounted for 43% of the market share amongst young and middle-aged luxury travelers. If you have a business that caters to this type of luxury traveler, you're going to win big. The type of luxury traveler that comes in after this is the culinary and shopping luxury traveler. Yes, <laughs> you're already winning if your business is in the path of this luxury traveler because heck, who doesn't like to eat and shop? And we can't forget about the baby boomers who are projected to hold the highest market share in the overall luxury travel market and they are noted as being the highest travel spenders. I'll say this to all of the secured entrepreneurs. You've got a ton of opportunities to be a part of the luxury travel industry. Tour companies, lodging like instant hotels and Airbnb, transportation, interpreters, RV parks, souvenirs, travel agents, just to name a few things to get your creative cap bubbling. Don't be afraid to invest in real estate in other countries where luxury travelers are frequently going like Europe, Latin, and North America. And hey, what's stopping you from adding luxury travel to your existing business plan. Just a thought. All right, I'm ready to get into the next episode. Remember to like, share, and subscribe here on Stitcher, CastBox, iTunes, Facebook, and YouTube. Oh, and by the way, be sure to stop by auroradayconsulting.com. That's A-U-R-O-R-A-H-D-E-Y consulting.com. Until next time. With Aurora Day, you are secure.